They're used to light pollution, so that's exactly what I wanted to hear because here is like nothing else you've ever seen before. Have you been to like a star party or a dark sky site? Six. Boral six is the brightest. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to be blown away. You're going to be absolutely blown away. Just pulled into the park. I'm passing Cygnus Avenue. We're uh, we're headed for Milky Way Drive, which is where uh, a few friends have saved a spot for us. Uh, yeah, it's the Friday. Today looks like the best day. It's sunny. It's supposed to be clear tonight. So really looking forward to get get up set up here at Cherry Springs. Here we are, Cherry Springs State Park for the Cherry Springs Star Party 2019. Believe it or not, we came at the exact right time to be here for a clear night sky during New Moon weekend. Apparently they had awful weather all week, rain, flooded out campsites, mud, people getting stuck. God love them, but we came at the right time because it's dried out now and tonight is the night. So it looks like we're only gonna get one night and tonight's it. What do you shoot on a perfect location from a perfect location like this? My suggestion, shoot unfiltered, natural color targets that you just can't do from anywhere else. So I'm gonna focus on capturing row of Fikui, wide field using the Ioptron Sky Tracker, using the 24 to 105 millimeter camera lens at 105 millimeters, nice wide field target. That's an image that's gonna be, it's gonna be tough to get it, but the equipment I'm using is very basic. Just the Sky Tracker Pro, a camera lens and a DSLR, no PC hookup, no nothing. If you haven't seen any of these videos before at Cherry Springs, the star party that's held every year around this time, normally it's in June, this year, the end of May, all of us amateur astronomers and astrophotographers get together for a couple of nights of just appreciating and enjoying the night sky. A lot of people out here are taking pictures, that's for sure, myself included. And uh, so it's a great chance to mingle with like-minded people, to see what others are using, their telescopes and their cameras, and share tips and advice. One of the, the, the weekends I look forward to most of the entire year, and uh, wouldn't you know it, it's gonna be clear tonight on the Friday night, the first night we got here, so, so excited. Just need to decide a target now. Is this your first time at Cherry Springs? Very first time. Very yeah. first time. Yeah. You inspired me to oh, come. Oh man, yeah. I like I love hearing that. Not because I inspired you to come, but because I know what's coming tonight. I can't and wait. Uh, like, are you where, where you live? Are is it you get dark skies? Are you in the city? Yeah. Well, it's funny because that's why I started watching you because I'm in South Jersey, okay, Port Lake, Philadelphia area. Yes. So when I heard like you like were doing what you were doing in your area, I thought, oh, now it's possible, you know, so. Yeah. Great, yeah. so you get it. Okay, so you're used to light pollution, so that's exactly what I wanted to hear because here is like nothing else you've ever seen before. Have you been to like a star party or a dark sky site? Six, Boral Six is the brightest. Uh, okay, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna be blown can't away. Imagine, you're gonna be imagine. absolutely blown away. Yeah, yeah. And uh, is this your daughter over my here? Daughter, Dylan. Hi, hi. hi. <laughs> she calls us star nerds though. So star we, oh, this is all nerds, yeah. It's a collection of nerds for sure. And are you imaging tonight? I'm imaging. You are? Yeah. Okay, and yeah. what are you shooting with? So um, it's funny because uh, 
I pretty much followed like in your footsteps. But when I saw you got the EQ6, I had the EQ6 a little bit for you. So I said, all right, cool. I made the right choice. But now I have the 294. Great yeah. to well, see you finally yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice put the to face you. to the name. Yeah. Jim, who's been like a long time follower, man. I remember your name as soon as you said yeah, that. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, you, ins you inspired me to do it because I was kind of in a similar situation. And my father kind of got me into it. So watching your videos kind of hit home a little bit. And yeah, so I thank you more than anything. Oh, man. I can't say this enough. You've got to shoot based on your location. And when it comes to a place like this, you want to shoot wide field. This is when you shoot your Milky Way shots under a dark sky, because that's something you can't do from home. Narrow band filters and that high magnification view, you can deal with gradients on that isolated scale, but you can't do wide field astrophotography from a light polluted backyard. So I'm shooting wide, I'm shooting row of Fikui, for the first time ever, I'm, I've got high hopes it's gonna work out. I just, man, everything's coming together. I'm just fingers crossed for no surprises. sanitary getting this close so my name is Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard and uh, a few years ago I decided to start a YouTube channel where I basically just vlogged my adventures in the backyard with DSLR astrophotography at the time which is basically just connecting a DSLR camera to a telescope and taking these deep sky pictures of nebulae and galaxies and I thought it was pretty cool and I thought hey maybe I'll record this and share it with the world and see if anybody cares and it turned out to be good. I'm going with 105 on a crop sensor. I'm like, ooh, that's oh, pretty darn nice close. Yeah, yeah I hope nice so. Tight. I mean, you get all those colors, the, the blues, the purples, the yellows. That's why it's so beautiful, right? It's yeah. like, it's the multicolor. It's a rainbow of colors. Yeah, and you get M4 in there as well. M4 star cluster. There's a lot going on in there. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. I'm, looking I'm getting, getting psyched talking about it. Yes. 